Hi, this is Buddy with Real Fun Fishing of Southwest Florida. If you've been liking my videos, please hit the like, subscribe button, and uh, ring that bell so you can get more notifications of my videos. Today I'm going to be showing you how they wired the light on the inside and a couple of issues that I think Mako should probably not do. And let's go ahead and get to it. You're going to need a 7 16th inch wrench. And then you're going to go ahead and just take these nuts off right here the back so you just pop them loose they're just lightly on there pull this whole housing out and the washers will fall off in your hand yay now, come on over here and you're going to see what I'm talking about. They just use smash connectors where they have like, you know what I mean, these type of plugs. And as you can see, I already put some dielectric, dielectric grease in there. But when I first took this apart, there was no dielectric grease inside of there. Because I'm going to be hooking up my LED post guides. And that's why in my other video I showed you that. But then you go ahead and you keep pulling on this thing. And they got another one for that over there. Which you definitely need to open up and put dielectric grease. Which I'm going to go ahead and do now. And then this channel you see right here. This hole right here. Well, this is not sealed in any way. Like around it. So... Obviously water is going to go in there. Well, I went down this whole channel right here and there was no holes in this main channel. This main big channel, as you can see, that like that big channel, there's no holes in it at all. So I bought some galvanized metal spray and I'm going to drill a hole in the bottom of that and pray to God I don't hit my wires. And hopefully that way each one of these main channels will drain out water because if not, there you're gonna have water sitting in there at the whole depth of this thing. Like it's that's a good half inch of water all the way across. And I'm I take this boat in salt water all the time. So more or less, that's just what I wanted to show you. Make sure you take these apart, put dielectric grease in there, and that that'll be pretty good. Get some galvanized metal spray. Spray the metal after you drill it, so that way it doesn't rust. With the galvanized spray and. That should fix the problem right there. So if you've been liking my videos, please hit the like button, subscribe, and uh, hit the bell for notifications. And that's Buddy with Real Fun Fishing of Southwest Florida.